Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, here with some comments about Derek Chisora's slapping of Vitaly Klitschko at their weigh-in earlier today. Now, before I go further, just remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let me just say that I expect uh, Vitaly Klitschko to dominate this fight. I'll be very surprised if Derek Chisora goes the distance. I have a video on the fight up already. But, be that as it may, I'm even more convinced now that Vitaly Klitschko completely dominates Derek Chisora than I was before the slap. In other words, the slap makes it even more likely that Derek Chisora gets stopped. Um, I consider boxing to be mathematical. I think that these fighters have to think in terms of angles and strategy, more so than toughness and emotion, right? Vitaly Klitschko, who's 40 years old, has been around the block. He's fought some great fighters. He fought Lennox Lewis. Right? He's been in the ring with not just great athletes, but with guys who actually know what to do with that athleticism. And uh, Derek Chisora, if you look at his record, and if you consider that he lost to Tyson Fury, if you consider that Robert Hellenius was injured early in their fight, and that fight still went the distance, and if you consider that Derek Chisora, as I make this video, doesn't even yet have anything close to 20 professional fights, then you'll realize that Derek Chisora, quite frankly, experience-wise, is in over his head, right? Slapping Vitaly Klitschko at a weigh-in is not going to shorten his punches. It's not going to enable him to deal with Vitaly's straight right hand. It's not going to help him get around Vitaly Klitschko's jab or Vitaly Klitschko's much better defense, especially when you throw looping punches like Derek Chisora does. What this weigh-in tells me is that mentally, Derek Chisora is not there. In other words, he's at a press conference in a mathematical sport trying to play tough guy with a champion who is a technician, right? I mean, understand Derek was saying that he smelled fear. You know, Vitaly Klitschko picked Derek Chisora as his opponent. Derek Chisora is a hand-picked opponent. He wasn't a mandatory challenger. And so the idea that Vitaly is afraid of a hand-picked opponent that he himself chose is ridiculous. But then to show up, at a weigh-in and to try to play tough guy in a tough guy sport is just patently ridiculous. And just looking at Derek, the whole, you know, uh, Union Jack on his mouth and stuff like that, I, I just get the feeling that he's a guy who isn't mentally prepared for what should be a very technical fight. So I'm disappointed in Derek Chisora. Um, I just have to say, I've looked at the odds on this fight. Vitaly Klitschko is something like a minus 2,000 favorite to win the fight using American odds. But Vitaly by KO, you're actually getting him at less than a minus 360. I think Vitaly Klitschko stops Derek Chisora. I think Chisora is going to find himself literally at the end of a jab and then at the end of some very straight right hands. I think he throws his punches at too much of a loop to give uh, Vitaly Klitschko much trouble. Vitaly blocks punches from the inside out, right? So when Derek is throwing that looping punch to get up on Vitaly's chin, don't be surprised if Vitaly isn't able to just block it on a forearm and then find Derek literally wide open for a straight right hand. I'll be very surprised if Derek Chisora sees the 11th round. If you're a round group better, 
I think the meat part of this fight will be rounds four to six and round seven to nine. I'm expecting a KO. I'm expecting a lopsided affair. I'm expecting the winner to be the best heavyweight, in my opinion, of the post-Lennox Lewis era, and that's Vitaly Klitschko. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here on YouTube. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com and um, leave comments both before and after the fight. And if you're scoring the fight, I hope you also leave your scores in either the comment section of this video or on the comment section of my channel page. Several people gather on that comment section for the channel page and score fights as they take place so we can all discuss after the fight whether the judges made the right call, whether the fight was going one way then ended the other way, or what have you. Thanks for watching.